All right. I these intros, man. I I absolutely love them. Okay, I'll probably do a compilation of my best intros one day. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about none other than the Judgment Day. Um. <clears throat> One of the, let's say, most popular factions in WWE at the moment. Why? Because it's it's a bunch of wrestlers that were doing okay on their own. But you put them together in order to, you know, they help themselves, like, get better and, you know, thrive in the roster. Okay? Uh, the faction was started by Edge. Uh, in the beginning, it had Damon Priest and then Rhea Ripley joined. Then Edge got kicked out and Finn Balor joined and then Dominic Mysterio joined. So the current faction is Finn Balor, Damon Priest, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley, and Dom Dom, Dominic Mysterio. Um, they're all singles competitors. They've all won singles titles, or not Dom, but like, they've all done decent on the roster, but, you know, they're all now together a faction, and it just helps them, you know, they help each other, as I said. But what if WWE wanted to add a fifth member to the Judgment Day? Actually, this might be the case, okay? Let me explain. Um, there were rumors, okay, for a long time that there would possibly be a fifth member in the Judgment Day uh, to make the stable more complete, more dominant, to have more faces, uh, and just the stable will be in more places and all and dominant, okay? This uh, fifth member could potentially be JD McDonough. Okay, if you don't know, he was a competitor in NXT UK. Uh, he won the Cruiserweight Championship and held it for a while. He was known as Jordan Devlin back in the days. He moved on to NXT and then with the WWE draft earlier this year, well, earlier, like a month ago, he was drafted to Monday Night Raw. Uh, and the reason people were talking about the Judgment Day is because he's a very good friend of Finn Balor. Uh, Finn Balor actually trained Jaden McDonough in his wrestling school. Uh, so he, they helped one another. It's basically Finn that helped JD, but JD helped Finn, you know, learn some new moves. They just helped each other, uh, the coaching from Finn, and, you know, they, they became good friends. Uh, they're both from the same country, which is Ireland. So they, they've got a lot of common, and they're just good friends. Uh, and also, he would fit in the Judgment Day. First of all, he's a heel, okay? All members of the Judgment Day are heels, even if we were replaced, cheered by the crowd like never before. They're, they're still, you know, she's still a heel. Um, he's got that kind of, like, attitude and this, like, desire to be better and to be more recognized, which the whole Judgment Day has. If you just looked at a bit of his matches, his promos, you quickly realize that he would be an amazing fit to this table. And on Raw, okay, not this Monday, but the one before, I believe it was, um... There was, uh, well, JD made his debut and there was a big, like, battle royal where the winner would uh, would face Gunther at uh, Clash of Champ at Night of Champions for the Intercontinental Championship, okay? So a lot of competitors on Raw, Battle Royal, whoever wins goes on to face Gunther at Night of Champions for the Intercontinental Championship. The match goes on, uh, JD McDonough is a part of the match, um, gets a couple of eliminations, and then gets eliminated by Dolph Ziggler. Not so long after, Dolph Ziggler gets eliminated, and as soon as, you know, as he gets back up, JD, like, blasts him in the back and, you know, just punches him a lot. And he's just mad at Dolph Ziggler for taking away his opportunity at, you know, showing the world what he's capable of and challenging for the Intercontinental Championship, okay? Later in the evening, as JD's leaving the building, uh, I believe it's Kathy, Kathy Kelly, uh, goes on to interview him, you know, ask him a couple of questions, mainly, why did you attack Dolph Ziggler, blah, blah, blah. JD just says, uh, he should have stood in my way. I have a lot of respect for Dolph Ziggler, but I'll show him. Uh, who I am, the Irish Ace, which is his, his nickname. And then as he leaves, the camera pans over to Kathy Kelly. And on the top, okay, like on the top left, uh, you're able to see Finn Balor for like a split second, okay? Um, go check, okay, in the description, there is my shorts channel, okay? This is my channel where I post shorts. Okay, shorts are basically TikToks, but on YouTube, it's my second channel where I post only shorts. And the TikTok I posted today is exactly this. You're going to see the segment, okay? It's a quick edit, but you'll see the segment and you'll see this brief second where we see Finn Balor in the picture so you'll understand what I'm talking about. So go check it out and come back to this video. Welcome back. Um, so yeah, as the camera pans, you can, you can quickly see Dolph... Uh, Dolph's a good... You can quickly see Finn Balor, okay? Looking over 
Okay, this, of course, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, you didn't just walk over and say, welcome to Judgment Day. No, that's not how it works. But already you can guess, why would Finn Balor be in this picture otherwise? Okay, yes, WWE loves to tease us and just throw out some stuff and then our imaginations do the rest and we're like, oh my goodness, that's crazy. Well, in the end, nothing happens. But still, it's 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 a step in the right direction, you know? And having JD McDonough just join the Judgment Day, uh, be a part of the stable and all, it's just going to elevate him, okay? It's going to give him an opportunity to go for tag matches, for six-man tag matches, to challenge for singles titles, for tag titles, whatever they decide to do, you know? And imagine, okay? You could have it so that um, one day, okay, Finn Balor challenges for the World Heavyweight Championship, uh, like Damon Priest challenges for the United States Championship, Dominic Mysterio and Jane McDonough um, challenge for the Tag Team Championships, and then Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship, okay? There you go, okay? I, I, I don't necessarily believe that they're going to win all the titles, but just imagine. Imagine a world where, where they have all the titles on Raw. This would be huge. It would be crazy, okay? I just realized Damon Priest would actually be challenging for the Intercontinental Championship and not the United States Championship. But that's fine, okay? But yeah, they would have all the titles on Raw or SmackDown eventually, depending on what they decide to do. Just look at Dominic Mysterio, okay? Him being in the, in the Judgment Day, it, it has elevated him. It has brought him to a new level. A lot of, of people have more respect to him because he's been putting in the work, but also he's had people to have his back and make sure that he goes in the right direction, you know? Having a guy like Finn Balor that has been in the industry for a while, that has been in the Indies, that has been in WWE for like seven, eight years now, uh, Damon Priest was an incredible competitor uh, and respected very well backstage and Rhea Ripley was at the top of the women's division. They're helping him get to a certain level and he's probably one of the best heels in WWE right now because he cannot even pick up the mic and talk, okay? As soon as he picks up the mic and tries to talk, the whole crew is just, the whole crew, the whole like crowd just sends a wave of booze. He cannot even talk because you can't hear him over all the booze of the crowd, you know? So he must be doing something right. This would be the same case for JD McDonough. If you bring him into the Judgment Day, he's gonna get better and better, he's gonna be able to work with these incredible competitors that are the rest of the members, have good rivalries, have big matches, you know? Um, if at the Survivor Series they decide to bring War Games back again, a War Games match could be the whole Judgment Day against whoever, okay? It could just be very interesting. And having this fifth member makes this stable more dominant and more scary, you know? They could go after anyone they want because they're a big stable, like the Bloodline, okay? When you had Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, the Usos, Sami Zayn, and Polyman by their side, they were dominant. No one could get on their level. They dominated the War Games. Exactly, you know? It's tough to get better than this. Judgment Day could, you know? Having this many members, just remember, okay? The Nexus, there were a lot of people... And, you know, okay, they messed up a couple of things, but they looked dominant because there were a lot. They were fighting everywhere. You would see the Nexus logo everywhere. Well, Judgment Day, you'll see that black and purple everywhere. Same thing. Okay. It's just a big opportunity for WWE, and it would be a shame if they messed it up. Because, you know, with a lot of talents that they have brought up from NXT, they've kind of, like, missed their shot. So if you don't really know to, what to do with Jane McDonough, at least put him in the Judgment Day. It's going to give something. It's going to, you know, elevate him a little. It's going to help the rest of the members and help this table in general, okay? So there will be... I hope you're watching this. I, I, I highly doubt you're watching this. But if anyone at WWE is watching this, please, Jane McDonough in the Judgment Day. Just ready, please? Um, but yeah... Tell me your thoughts, guys. Uh, first of all, do you actually think JD McDonough is going to join the Judgment Day? Second of all, do you think it's a great idea? You know, are you for or are you against JD joining the Judgment Day and Judgment Day having a fifth member? Or do you think they're just fine being the four that they are currently? And anything else, okay? Once again, my short channel is in the description, okay? Just make sure to go check it out. Uh, you'll be able to see the clip and so many more clips that I put out daily. Okay, I post daily on there. I post daily on this channel. So if you want to see more of my content, it's Elish Oos Shorts. Okay, it's that simple. Elish Oos, just with shorts after. I, I, I didn't went too complicated. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go back to being the coolest man alive. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.